At this time, we will go ahead and posture ourselves for prayer. Um, there's so many things in the world that we experience each and every day. And there's so many things in the world that people are experiencing that we may never experience for ourselves. But as children of God, the Word of God encourages us to go to him in prayer and have a talk with Jesus and let him know our troubles. And we have confidence when we do so uh, in knowing that God the Father hears our prayers. So let us pray. Our gracious and kind Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We are glad to be a part of it. We are blessed to be a part of it. And we are so humbled to know that you care for us and love for us each and every day. And oftentimes, Lord God, in life, we tend to forget how good you have been to us and what you have done. So, Lord God, I ask that you forgive us for the times we have uh, overlooked your blessings on our lives. But Lord, we also know you have the power to move in the lives of people and we have people in our hearts, Lord God, that we care for. We ask through and by the living spirit that you will touch their lives, that you will bring healing where it needs, that you will bring salvation and restoration into the lives of your people. Lord God, you are the great physician and you can do great and marvelous things. You can do what we can't and we ask you to do so. Now let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> 